Hello, East Rampo Central School District, and welcome to our weekly webisode, where we like to show what's popping in our district. We'll find out what's popping with points of pride. We'll learn social emotional skills that will help us grow, and we'll get reading with the book pick of the week. Enjoy. Welcome to this week's points of pride. I'm Dr. Ray G. Martino, Interim Superintendent of Schools. Points of Pride are an area where we are able to showcase the effect of teaching, learning, and high-level programming that is taking place in the East Ramapo Central School District. This is an opportunity for us to celebrate and recognize you, the good work that's taking place, the good work that you're doing, and the supports you're providing to our students, families, and community. Thank you. We appreciate you. This week's pop moment comes from Spring Valley and Ramapo High School, New York State Seal of Biliteracy. So we're here today celebrating our points of pride with two of our students, Domenica and Kevin, who are hyper-focused on uh, earning the Seal of Biliteracy. We're going to have Miss Barrow uh, really tee things up for us today. My name is Melissa Barrow, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Student Programs, Assessments, and Evaluations. And so the Seal of Biliteracy really allows students to demonstrate their proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in English and a world language. Once this is on their diploma, they can use this at the college level to take more advanced classes. In order for our students to graduate with the Seal of Biliteracy, they are asked to write a research paper and to also prepare a visual presentation that they ultimately present in both English and world language. In the past two years, we've had 36 East Ramapo seniors graduate with the Seal of Biliteracy on their diploma, and we have over 100 juniors and seniors working towards achieving the Seal of Biliteracy. Domenica, would you walk us through the research project that you identified on working towards your seal of biliteracy? In my project, I decided to pick a topic that is about the war, the divers diversity, and also the, the peace. Uh, I been seeing a lot of war between the same community, for example, Venezuela, which is a country that is still in war with the same government. I find that they need to support each other to make a better country and a better government so they can be successful and in peace. What did you find the most important piece of information for community could come together? I think the most important thing that I found was about a Colombian organization called La Paz, and it was helping Venezuela to create a better community for itself and also uh, to help people which were not able to have food or they didn't have a home. They were providing them food and also a place to live. Also, they, they were helping the kids to provide them books and so they can keep studying and keep educating themselves. Kevin, would, would you uh, like to walk us through research as you work deal of biliteracy? I'm also doing war and peace and social diversity because of the fact that many wars have always caused everlasting effect on people. Like most of their homes are destroyed. They have nothing to really support them. Like for example, how in the past two years that uh, America has been donating money to countries that are aren't financially stable and they weren't able to even really do much even with the money provided so i want to provide some type of awareness how war leads to more destruction of people's lives and how they will never end up being the same for a long period of time what i'm hearing you say is focusing on social justice for for all of our families and the community that you're conducting research in we as a community needs to be uh supporting each other no matter what race or what we look like and this way we can create a better uh, community. Kevin, any closing words or thoughts? I believe that everybody that is doing something for a just cause should be able to support their claim. Even though you might disagree with somebody, you should still learn to at least respect their opinion and respect their beliefs. Really, your messaging around social justice, social awareness come through in a very strong manner. Uh, it is obvious that you are our points of pride. We are very proud of you, so thank you very much. And now, a social, emotional learning moment with Dr. G. At East Ramapo, we all work hard to be the best learners we can be. One skill for learning is to listen with attention. 
When we listen with attention, our eyes are watching the speaker, our ears are listening, our voices are quiet, and we're still and focused on the speaker. This week, practice being a great listener every day. Thank you for doing your best. Let's get reading with the book pick of the week. Hello, East Ramapo students. My name is Miss Iwaha. I am the assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction. And for this week's book pick of the week, I'd like to share with you Hip Hop Speaks to the Children, a celebration of poetry with a beat edited by Nikki Giovanni. This particular book hails poets such as Nikki Giovanni herself, Gwendolyn Brooks, Tupac, Queen Latifah, Sugar Hill Gang, Tribe Called Quest, and many more. Over 50 excellent, remarkable poems that use devices such as rhythm, rhyme, onomatopoeia, repetition. So I'd like to just share with you one poem that speaks to me titled Doubtless by Steve Erickson. When I was seven, I looked to heaven and dreamed of going to the moon. But pretty soon, somebody came along to change my tune. They put me down, bang, there my dream lay on the ground. Thank God eventually I came around and dreamed another dream. At first it seemed a good idea to hide it, to confide it to absolutely no one. But that was no fun. Besides, I realized I couldn't. The joy it gave me just wouldn't be stopped up. It popped up at the most inconvenient times, effervesced in all my rhymes. But hey, joy, joy is not a crime, though some people may make it seem so. Does anybody here know what I mean? You share your dream and right away people laugh, try to dissuade you, do what they can do, plant a seed of doubt. Listen, you've got to root it out. Laugh last, push past, pursue. Be you, whoever that is, dream intact. And don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. And if you move, remember, pack your dreams, they're portable. <laughs> 